Creating a polished professional presentation doesn't need to take hours. With Microsoft 365 Copilot in PowerPoint, you can go from a blank slide to a stunning presentation in a fraction of the time. Whether you're creating a new presentation or turning a document into a slide deck, Copilot helps you organize your message, build your slides, and even suggest visuals. Let's explore how to put Copilot to work in PowerPoint. To get started, I've opened PowerPoint and I have a new blank presentation. Notice this Copilot icon here in the upper left hand corner. From here, I can create a new presentation. Now, of course, keep in mind that this option is only available if you have the paid add in for Copilot with your Microsoft 365 subscription. Another way that I know that is I see the Copilot icon here in the Home tab of the ribbon. So I'll pick Create a New Presentation. From here, you can describe the presentation you like and reference a file if needed. Adding files, of course, gives Copilot more context and can help in the presentation to be a lot more specific. Well, let's try something a little bit more generic. My prompt is create a presentation about our Contoso Q3 marketing strategy. Ideally, I would add files that might be related to a marketing plan. I might even include previous presentations and other things that would be helpful here. So let's see what happens. I'll simply hit enter. So using the general idea of a marketing strategy, Copilot has outlined some typical ideas that might be part of this plan. To generate these slides, I can simply click that option. And very quickly, Copilot builds a draft presentation, complete with title slides, suggested talking points, and even relevant icons or images. At this point, I'll pick the option to keep it. Each one of these slides can be edited. We could apply a different template to it. So we would have the option to kind of dig in and refine this according to our needs. This can be a great way to get kind of a creative inspiration and a framework for your presentation. It's like having this presentation professional on call whenever you need one. To learn more about getting started with Microsoft 365 Copilot, click the link above or find the link in the description below to watch my video. Next, let's look at how we can use Copilot to summarize an existing presentation. Here I have a presentation that was actually created by Copilot, but it could also be something that you have in your organization. Or maybe it came in from an outside vendor, partner, and you'd like to summarize the information because some presentations can have many, many, many slides and you may only have a few moments to be able to get the sense of the content and the key points within them. So with this presentation open, I want to go and go to my Copilot icon and here is the option, summarize this presentation. And within a few moments, Copilot has given me a summary of some of the key sections within this presentation. Now, what's really helpful here is I have the option here that I could copy this, drop it into a document, so I would have something that I could easily review. So notice here I even have hyperlinks to the content where it found that. So I could even move to a particular slide for the details if I want to dig in a little bit further with them. So this is our Copilot chat panel or window. You can see it's enabled. This is another way that we can communicate. We can put in prompts here about either creating or summarizing other things that I might want to do with the existing presentation or in creating a new one. Let's try another new presentation, but this time we'll have a sample file. To begin, I'll come back to my Copilot icon here and this time I'll create a new presentation using a file. So one of the tricks in Copilot is we can use the slash and that is a way for us to be able to reference a file or describe what we want. It's basically a way to kind of kick in Copilot. And here I see a list of recently used files. Now if I don't see what I want here, I have the option to also access cloud files, but these need to be files that are in the cloud. So OneDrive, SharePoint, and here I'll attach a cloud file. I've attached a Word document, which was created by Copilot in Word as a summary of a much larger document. 
To learn more about how to use Copilot in Microsoft Word, click the link above or find a link to my video in the description below. Let's move forward and create this presentation. I can simply click here to send or hit enter. So extracting from the key points in this document all about chocolate, the history of chocolate, I will generate a new presentation. Keep that presentation and look what Copilot did. We have a presentation here. It was built from a Word document. And not only do I have the text and the key points, but relevant icons, relevant photos, images on that topic, which is all about chocolate. This is pretty amazing. You have to keep in mind that some slides might be too busy. They might be slides we should actually split into multiple slides. But notice that we have a great framework to build off of. Let's go a little further here and edit our title slide. Add some more visual interest. I'm going to add an image. This could be something that I have on my own computer. It could be something that I also might get from the available images that are in Microsoft 365. So here I'll choose Insert, Pictures, Stock Images. My topic, of course, is chocolate. And let's go ahead and pick this one. I'll insert it. And now I don't have to know what to do next. If you're not familiar with it, one of the artificial intelligence features that built into Microsoft 365 in PowerPoint, we have Designer. And this is giving us suggestions for how we could take that image and lay it out in this title slide or really other slides as well. Look at all these possibilities. You don't need to know anything about graphic design. And now you have some really helpful, interesting choices. And you could continue to review, modify these. It's it's pretty amazing how quickly we can get this done. So although it's not specifically Copilot, it works hand in hand with the content we created in Copilot so that we can create something that's more visually interesting. I could, of course, also use Designer to modify other slides. So even a text slide like this, I would be able to explore and see if there were some other ways that I wanted to present this information. If I was actually going to move forward with this, I'd want the text to be larger, more readable, and I would make other corrections. In just a few minutes, Copilot helped us create this presentation that would normally take us hours if we were manually building these slides. What do you think about the power of Copilot in PowerPoint? Would you like other ideas to make your presentations faster and better with less stress? You'll find more tips at thesoftwarepro.com slash PowerPoint. And while you're there, feel free to sign up for my free software tips newsletter. I'd love to keep sharing helpful ideas with you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe for more practical time-saving tips. Thanks for watching.